I'm going to solve 10 object-oriented programming questions in this video. In the first question, we will define a person class with members name and age. Define class person with public members. Initialize a person variable. Assign values for member fields. And print the values of them. Okay, let's continue with the second question. Enhance the person class by adding a constructor and destructor. Use the constructor to initialize values and the destructor to say goodbye. Let's copy the previous solution code. And add the constructor here. Initialize the members with the parameters of the constructor. Print some messages to understand when constructor is called. Similarly, define the destructor and print some messages in it also. Declare a person instance. And we don't need to call the destructor explicitly. Yes, we got the locks we expected. In the third question, we will add a class method in our person class. Implement the introduce method by printing a message into output. Initialize a person instance. And call the introduce method. And yes, we got the introduce output. In the fourth question, we will practice inheritance. We will implement a base shape class with calculate area method and its subclasses circle and rectangle. Area calculation formula will be different in circle and rectangle. Start with implementing base shape class. Declare a virtual calculate area method without implementation. Implement circle class extending base shape class. Define radius member variable to hold a radius of a circle. Initialize the radius with constructor parameter. Implement the calculate area method overriding the base virtual method with area of circle formula. Similarly, implement the rectangle class extending shape class. Define length and width member variables. Initialize the member variables with constructor.
Implement the calculate area method with the formula of rectangle area calculation. Initialize the circle and rectangle instances in main program. And finally, print the area calculation results to the output. And here we can confirm that the calculations are correct. In the next question, we will practice another important topic encapsulation. Create player class with private members gold and account number. Implement public earn and spend methods to modify gold balance. Declare member variables in private section. Implement the constructor. Implement the methods in the public section of the class. Earn method will increase the gold balance and spend method will decrease it. Initialize a player instance in main function. Call earn and spend methods with some values. Implement a print goal method to print the gold balance to the output. And call the print goal method. Alright, we got the expected output. Let's move to the next question. In this question, we will overload the sum operator for the player class to allow adding the goals of two accounts. Copy the encapsulation solution here. Add the operator overloading method implementation here. Initialize the player result instance. Sum the golds and return the result. In order to test it, initialize two player instances. Call earn method to give initial gold amount. And use sum operator to combine the accounts. And finally print the gold balances. Yes, it's working. In the next question, we will define a static member count and implement increment and get count method to modify and retrieve the count.
We are using static keyword to declare a static member. And implement the increment method. Add the getter method. Initialize the static member. In the main method, declare to counter instances. We will call increment method only from one instance, but when we call the get count method, we will get the same value in both instances. Yes, outputs are same as expected. In the next question, we will practice friend functions. We will create a distance class to represent distances in feet and inches. We will implement a friend function at distances that adds to distance objects. Implement distance class and add member fields. Define a constructor to initialize member fields. Declare the friend function. and a display distance method to print out the output. And we are implementing the friend function here. Calculating total feet and total inches. And returning the combined distance result. In the main function, define two distance instances. Call the friend at distances function to get the result. And finally, print the distance outputs. Let's review the class what we have done. And yes, adding distances looks fine. In the next question, we will practice polymorphism by implementing some animal classes with make sound methods. Define the base animal class with virtual make sound method declaration.
and implement subclasses dog and cat with different implementation of max sound methods. In the main function, define dog and cat instances and call the maxout method. Let's review the solution. Yes, we've got the expected outputs here. In the final question, we will practice virtual destructors. We will create a base shape class with a virtual destructor. We will derive two subclasses, circle and rectangle, and implement the destructors with different messages. Start with implementing shape base class. Define virtual destructor. Implement the subclasses. Define the destructor for the circle class. Implement the rectangle class with each destructor also. Declare circle and rectangle instances with shape pointer. Use delete operator to see destructor messages. Let's review the solution. Here we see the destructor messages in correct order. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you on next video.